Now, one part b, we've got the q root of negative 8 times x to the power of 6. Again, we went over the product rule in one part a, and this product rule also works for cubes. Why don't I give you a quick example just to show you. Look, if you had the cube root of 8 um, times, um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba, let's see, 8 times 1,000, right? That is actually equal to the cube root of 8 times the cube root of 1,000. Why? Why is that the case? Well, <coughs> let's prove it. If you, were get, if, you, if you multiply these numbers inside, 8 times 1,000 gives what? Does it give 8,000? So what's the cube root of that? What times itself 3 times gives 8,000? Well, believe it or not, 20 times 20 is 400, okay? And 400 times 20 is what? 8,000, right? So the, the number that multiplies by itself 3 times to give 8,000 is in fact 20, okay? Now, we could also get the cube root of each individual factor, like the cube root of 8 is what? 2? And what's the cube root of 1,000? What times itself 3 times gives 1,000? 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 again is 1,000. So the cube root of 1,000 is 10. Now what's 2 times 10? 20, right? So this proves the product rule, well, it doesn't prove it, but it shows you that, that the product rule will work for cube roots, okay? So the product rule for roots is, is this, and it root works for any type of root. And I should have put an N here as well, sorry about that. Anyway, so using the product rule, we have that this is the cube root of negative 8 times the cube root of x to the power of 6. And now we just have to figure out each one of these cube roots. So when you get the cube root of negative 8, you're actually asking what number times itself 3 times will give you negative 8. Take your time, press pause on the video if you need to, and figure that out. What number times itself 3 times gives negative 8? has to be the same number. Any idea? Take your time, press pause in the video and do it yourself. Okay, I hope you tried it. I'm going to go over it now. Look, 2 times 2 is 4, isn't it? And 4 times 2 is 8, right? But the answers are negative. But look, if I had a negative 2 times a negative 2, that would be positive 4, right? If I multiply by a negative 2 again, then I get a negative 8. So negative 2 times itself 3 times does indeed give a negative 8. So the answer is the cube root of negative 8 is in fact the number negative 2. So the cube root of x to the power of 6 we need to do now. So what we're saying is what number times itself 1, 2, 3 times gives x to the power of 6, right? Or the other way to do these is to take the x to the power of 6 and break it up. It's x times x times x, 3 times 4, 5, it's 6 x's. That's x to the power of 6. Now split that into, into uh, uh, 3 groups all the same size. Can you do that? Can you give me 3 groups all the same size? Well, what about this? Right? x squared times x squared times x squared, right? See, x squared times x squared is x to the power of 4, that's 4 x's. Times another x squared, that's x to the power of 6, right? So the cube root of x power of 6 is x squared. Another way of doing that is cube root of x to the power of 6 is in fact x to the power of the number 6 divided by 3. Okay, and you might have learned that rule, and that gives you x squared. So this is the, this is a rule from changing from roots to uh, rational exponents. Okay. So anyway, the the answer here is negative two times x squared.